Camilo Alvarez recently responded brutally to Terence Crawford's call for a fight. Israel Madoff thinks Terence Crawford would have a very tough time going up to super middleweight to take on Saul. Canelo Alvarez following their 12-round fight, Terence Crawford went on to win by unanimous decision against Israel Madoff, and Eddie Hearn believed the scorecards were a complete joke. He stated that it's a waste of time. Crawford had a good flurry in the last round. It was a super close fight. I believe you have to come in and take that belt from the champion. Terence Crawford didn't do that, and I love him. He is brilliant. But for me, Madrimov deserves to be the champion tonight. It was a fight that could have gone either way. And then you hear the scorecards, and that's why you bother. You lose by four rounds on two of the scorecards. It wasn't that kind of fight going into the fight. Crawford was a heavy favorite, and considering the fight went the distance, and he won narrowly on the judges' scorecards, it goes to show how good Madov really is. Much of the attention leading up to and during fight week was on Crawford's possible promotion to confront Canelo Alvarez, the super middleweight champion. According to Madoff, the outcome will largely depend on the weight at which Crawford and Alvarez square off. I don't know. It depends on what weight they fight in, he said. But if they fight in Canelo's current weight category, then I think it will be very difficult for Crawford because he's massive. Although Madoff thinks Crawford is too small to match Alvarez at 168 LB, he does concede that the former 135 LB fighter possesses a strong punch. There is no doubt that he has power. There is no doubt that he has skills. I knew that's why this fight was so close. Madoff added that if I had won the 11th and 12th rounds, maybe I could have won the fight or gotten the draw. But I did what I could and followed my plan. I did a lot in the beginning of the fight as well. I tried to be aggressive. I tried to take the fight to him. I obviously exerted more energy, but maybe next time, with the experience I gained, I can do better. In the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification. Bell by doing this, you'll never miss out on any future videos from Combat Sports World. Originally, when asked about the idea of a Terence Crawford fight, Canelo didn't seem too interested as the weight difference was a lot between the pair. I don't know. But just like it was with the love, is that going to be the case all over again with Benjamin? I know you focused on Charlo, but is that going to be the case with Benjamin? Is it everyone's ass on you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, how, bad, how bad do you want to shut him up and be like, hey, this is the guy? Like, shh, like I, I kicked his ass. Hey, you know, I I don't I don't want to say, yeah, like, because there's a lot of people like like him. And I, I don't care. It's fine to to have opposite. Are you work Crawford to call you out at 68, say that he can beat you at this weight? No, you know, everybody wants to fight with me, so it's fine. That being a bigger, biggest fight possible in boxing, is that something you'd actually be interested in? You know, it's crazy when you asking about that because you say, ah, your macho is coming out with other weight classes and that's it, and he's welterweight. So don't make sense. But uh, if the fight makes sense, why not? A lot of people have my number one pound for pound. Do you think that's fair to you? You know, it's a uh, few people there who deserve the number one pound for pound and it's fine. How do you end the fight? Huh? How do you end the fight? with a lot of body shots. <laughs> but now that we've seen Crawford already go up in weight to fight Madoff, it's clear his intentions are to get used to the weight and find a way to make it happen. Although I think we can all agree, Crawford would still need a few tune-up fights before taking on Canelo, as he looked good. But Canelo is a different beast in there. If Terence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez square off in a major bout in the first quarter of 2025, Alexander Usyk believes that Crawford will prevail. Alvarez is the unified three-belt super middleweight champion. I say, Terran wins. Terran is a different man. Terran works is stated on two sides, on the right and the left. Alexander Usyk, on the YouTube channel 3 Knockout Rule, believes that should the bout go through, Terence Crawford will defeat Canelo Alvarez 
in the 168 pound weight class in 2019. He feels the distance. Terran can box like a big guy, said Yusik. Now hearing those words from someone like Yusik and the legacy he has, goes to show how close a fight would actually be between the pair, as he knows boxing like the back of his hand. And hopefully, we can get this fight announced a lot sooner rather than later. Crawford has made it known for a while that he's wanted the kilo fight for his legacy. And of course, the huge payday, and he knows it would have to be at a catchweight. Trying to make all-time history. Right. You know, um, if the Canelo fight uh, fight come to fruition, then that's a fight that I'll be willing to take just off the wrist. Mm. You know, to be one of the all-time greats that, you know, that, 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 that's a fight that... That's the one that gets you going, yeah, seeing your eyes. yeah. Yeah, that's a fight because of the challenge. Yeah. I love the challenges and I love I love the people that I hear them now. You're too little. You know, Canelo going to break you. He's going to stop you. You come from 147, that way too big, this and that. I can hear it now. And that just excites me to go in there and just be like, okay, let me pull around once again. That fight would be gigantic. If Canelo gets through Jamel, and then you... Before we go any further into the video, how would you guys see a fight panning out between Terence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez? Would it be a one-sided beating by Canelo, like many are predicting, or could you see Crawford being able to disarm Canelo and get the win over him? Comment down in any case. Bud has achieved success at 154, and can go towards his objective of taking on Saul. Canelo Alvarez, at 168, and a leak of RI season have acknowledged that he made the Mexican an offer. Many believe the Omaha pound for pound star should refrain from making another weight jump because the Madrimov achievement is now used as a benchmark. Ryan Garcia is one of those who voiced his thoughts on social media following the fight. Crawford cannot beat Canelo. Let's be real. The left jab is connecting for Crawford, and the left hook is key for Madramob. If he can land, between Davis and Shaka Stevenson would go down? Would Davis's knockout power be too much for Shaka to handle? Or would Shaka Stevenson be able to get a decision win with a defensive masterclass? Comment down below. The question of who would win in those loaded weight classes and who is the best has long been up for discussion. Recently minted heavyweight champion Clarissa Shields stated that Stevenson was the best in an interview with Cigar Talk. Shaker is the best to me. He's better than Tank, better than Devon, better than Ryan Garcia, and he's better than Tyamo. Shaker is my number one when it comes to those weight classes. He is me. I'm not going to ever dismiss a fighter. I think Tank got some great skills and hard-ass punches. He's so EXP explosive, but so is Shika. Shakur has for me faced harder challenges than Tank. When you look at the guys, Shakur fought their records and style. Tank cannot say he's the best if he knocked out Ryan and Raleigh, who is a Raleigh and who is a Ryan. Those guys would never get in the ring with Shakur. People say it only takes one. You're right. But when you're only getting hit 5 or 6%, I'm just rocking with Shakur for that fight. And he's going to be smart. Shakur's strong too. He's fast too. When he's got something to prove, he fights to a higher level. Time will tell if this fight comes into fruition as the fans want it. It makes sense timing-wise, so hopefully it goes over the line and contracts get signed anyway. This concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Fight Fury for future videos from Combat Sports World and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.